Uh, very nice to meet you, gentlemen. Jeff, Johnny, congratulations on the movies coming Thank you. on the movie coming out. I, 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 this is a rumor that I heard that the, the the other possible name for the movie would be pee pee poo poo throw up in 3D. Is yeah, that, is yeah. Any truth to that at all? That's that's what you're going to get. Uh, uh, you you came up with that. Yeah, we made a T-shirt that says pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> pee pee poo poo throw up. Pony's wanted to call it Jackass 3D full penetration. Let me tell you, watching just the the quick like little snippet last night with the uh, Supreme Poo cocktail, which brought back memories. But your your mouth was taped back in the day, right? Oh yeah, I really half asked it. <laughs> Luckily, in this movie, Steve O, uh, you know, put uh, uh, nose pinchers on and put earplugs in, but completely left his mouth uh, just. Untethered, and if he hadn't, uh, if he hadn't had his mouth open, that poop would have hit him right in the face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would have been unfortunate, actually. Yeah, for us viewers at home. Um, how do these guys? How are you, how are the guys not surprised anymore when they're walking around the corner and getting smacked in the face with a giant hand? Are they? Aren't they? Are they still surprised? Are they just really dumb? Or well, they know something's happening, you know, because that morning we did that in our kitchen at our office, and when they know when their call times are staggered. Like, we bring them in, okay, you come in at 8, you come in at 9, and they all talk amongst each other. They know something's happening, but they don't know whether we're coming from the ceiling, the floor, the walls. And they're not texting each other afterwards going, hey, man. No, no. no. Everybody wants to see the other guy get it. They just don't want to get it themselves, <laughs> yeah. you know, so. Well, now, now you have a son. Would you Do you want to train your son uh, later on in life to do this? Or are you going to shy away, maybe go like the Leo DiCaprio route for him? I, I will train him to attack Jeff like I have my daughter. And pranks are fine, but no stunts for my daughter or for my son. Although Jeff is probably going to try and uh, continue the franchise with my son, but I, I'm not going to allow it. Is it now 3D because you can make more money, Jeff? No, 3D was a sort of a natural thing for us to go into. I think uh, we're the people that can take 3D and make it the stupidest thing you've ever seen. So, uh, <laughs> and I think we did. Yeah. Did. Are you writing everything in 2D, or are you planning it the stunts out in 3D? It has to be funny in 2D uh, first when we were writing. But when we get the idea, we're like, okay, well, this is the idea. It's funny in 2D. How can we manipulate it in 3D? Mo- a couple of bits we're thinking we we did with 3D in mind. A couple that were just for the 3D camera, you know. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it had to be funny first and foremost. And uh, yeah, I think this movie would play just like every you know. It, it feels like a jackass movie, even if it wasn't in 3D. But the 3D definitely puts you right in there, and uh, it definitely adds an element to it that. Uh, we love it, you know. I think it really worked out for us. Are you shooting? Are you shooting like twice as many stunts, and then you kind of go back and take a look at them all, and you're like, "That's not funny at all," and that's not making it. We that's- shoot a ton of stuff. We shot enough for two movies. Uh, a lot of great stuff didn't make Jackass Three because we, we shot such a uh, amount of footage, and we we are releasing Jackass Three Point Five at Christmas. <laughs> Like we, because from the la- number two, we had so much leftover footage, too much for a DVD yeah. extra. So uh, it was a little daunting when we first started the movie because we're like, okay, we got to do two movies. And, but then we had enough for two and a half movies. Now, so what's, what's uh, something that a fan has surprised you with or a f- surprising fan story? Um, one time at Halloween, or not Halloween, Valentine's Day in, uh, in bars in Westchester. Uh, we had mouse traps, like you know, hitting each other in the ears with them, and um, one guy's like, "I'll take that to my uh, PP and gonads," and he did, and his girlfriend was so mad. And then the owner of the bar comes out and goes, "Hey, what do you think about this?" And he has a hammer, and the guy's like, "I'll do it," and his girlfriend just left, cause you know she's like, "That's," and he took it to the PP. And the go- he put it on the wooden table, and they just dropped the hammer. And, and then the worst thing about that story, aside from having to witness it, we saw him two nights later in a bar. He's like, oh, my God, you got to see this. <laughs> and it was just black. It was black. And his girlfriend broke up. <laughs> yeah, his girlfriend <laughs> broke up with him. All right, guys, thank you so much for well, stopping quick, by. I, I, yeah. I have one more question. Yeah. I do have to ask, because of the whole Avatar stuff, is, is this going to make Avatar look like Romper Room? Is it going to blow Avatar out of the water? Uh, I, I don't I don't want to uh, 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 be too overconfident, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> it really, the, the, we, shot, we shot it all 3D, so yeah. it's not uh, one of those converted 3D movies. This is a, you know, like Avatar. It's shot in 3D, and, uh, yeah, we took that technology to a new low. 
Yeah. <laughs> so. Congrats, guys. Sweet. Thank you. Thanks, guys.